Hello and welcome to a new video about the electric field. Today we are going to talk about what is happening if we are placing matter in our electric field, in the area of electric field. Last time we already talked about what is happening with, uh, with uh, conductive material. Today we want to place an isolating material. So again we have some chunk of material. And we're going to place this material inside here. So we put this inside here. Whoop. And we think about what is happening if this thing here is here inside. What is happening there? Well, let's Let's draw it once again. Uh, here, this is our part we want to put in. Yeah? And this part, this is built with atoms. And these atoms, they do have a nucleus core, which is positively charged. And they do have also a, a hull, yeah? which is negatively charged, because there are electrons inside this hull. Yeah? So they are around here. And it's not one atom. This is a really big zoom now. Huh? There are more atoms. And now we're placing this item here in our electric field. Let's see. The atoms, they will be the same. Uh, they are where they are. However, what is happening is that this hull of this, this, the electrons, they tend to drift a little bit. So we are here not longer in the middle. They are attracted to the positive plate. Yeah, they want to get there, but they cannot, yeah, because it's not a conductive material. So they cannot get away from the home base, yeah, from the home nucleus, but they tend to be a little bit on this side. What is happening there is that we have here inside, yeah, so because here is the middle point, so we have here a small additional field. Yeah? Additional field. Which is pointing because the outside field this is still pointing from the positive side to the negative side, right? And I will now draw it like there would be no distortion. In reality, we would have here some effects also, but I will just simply draw it like ignoring the surface disturbances here to show you This is the electric field, and this is going in this direction, right? So we have an electric field in this direction, and we have an additional field, which is in the opposite direction. So actually, what is happening inside? Right here, opposite direction. What is happening inside there is that the external field is weakened. Uh, so we don't have that much field inside. The density of the field lines is lower. Because this additional field is deleting this field a little bit. Okay? So that's one mechanism which might happen. And then I also show you a second mechanism. Let's say we have a different material, yeah, and this different material is a build of dipole, dipole molecules. Yeah? So it's not only atoms but molecules, and usually dipole molecules, there's electric electric uh, binding and so on. So they have one negative side. They have one negative side, and they have a positive side. 
and this positive side is oriented somehow simply okay and together they form as molecules this type of matter right. now we're placing this type of matter inside here yeah what is happening to the dipoles is they are still in place however they're getting oriented okay it's because of the outer field the dipoles are turning each other in field direction and also here we have an additional field uh, additional field like here also in this direction this time this works even better because the dipoles have a, a, usually a bigger than just it's working better all right so our outer um, electric field here this is our outer electric field again and we have again this additional field and this is working this time much better than before uh, so we do have an even weaker internal field uh, so this is actually what is what is uh, matter, also isolating matter, doing? Reducing. The, 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 the flux is the same, right? There's the same flux density and everything, yeah? but the electric field is reduced. So how to describe this mathematically? Yeah? How to describe this? We said... We said our flux density D yeah, was the electric field multiplied by epsilon zero. Yeah. This epsilon zero we said was a constant, epsilon zero 8.854 minus 12, 10 raised by the power of ampere seconds per volt meter this was epsilon zero and we said this is going to to combine the the density the flux density and the electric field if there is no matter around and now it's the same it's just lowered yeah so the same we have still the same formula d equals e and now we don't call it epsilon zero, we just call it epsilon. Yeah. This is the permittivity, this is called. Permittivity. Permittivity or dielectric constant. Dielectric constant, we just use another constant and we're happy. And this other constant epsilon is epsilon zero multiplied by a relative epsilon r yeah this is the relative permittivity yeah or this is also dielectric constant relative dielectric constant this is how you can somehow get the effect of, of, of this of, of uh, the isolator in our formula yeah. what are usual values epsilon r usual values are 1 to 10 uh, these are usual values
So if you have an epsilon r of 2, then the electric field would be two times lower than if there would be nothing. Huh? It's always bigger than 1, of course. Huh? It will not get denser, the electric field. And I said, water. Water is a typical typo. Uh, it's working very good. Water, H2O, yeah? epsilon r is around 80. 80 times less electric field inside of water, inside of water than, than in, 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 in air, uh, because air is around one. Uh, air is not really much different from, from, from vacuum. They are also high, high tech ceramic, they are ten thousands and so on. Yeah? Now the question is, is this good? Is it good? Yeah, now we're talking about the yeah, force effect of electric field and we're calculating and yeah, we draw in the electric field. And now I tell you, yeah, if you place matter in there, then the electric field is weakened. It's so funny, yeah, the additional field is, oh, the, the original field is weakened. Uh, yes, sometimes it's good. Uh, sometimes it's good that we lower the electric field because the electric field is, uh, no, if there is high electric field, then there might be ionization. And so, I said once, uh, if the electric field is high enough, everything is getting a conductive material. And therefore, we want to lower, with a certain material, we want to lower the electric field, and then we can handle things which cannot be handled without those isolating materials. In, for instance, one application is a capacitor. Capacity is a typical application, yeah? because then the capacity is higher if we are using such material. New words, uh, capacitor, capacity. Yeah? What this is about, yeah? this I'm going to explain in the next video. Next video is about the capacitor, yeah? the application of the electric field. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.